Hello everyone, JT Gunner here, and I'm back with another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So, just did some side quests, and I'll try to finish up all the side quests this time. Um, so, what I needed to do to get to the Defend Colony 6 Demon side quest, which is the last side quest we need to do to get the, uh... Last Monado, um, thing, the item that we need to build it, materials, that's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, I had to go around the game world recruiting NPCs to join Colony 6, to move there, to live there. And so now we're going to have to fight this level 99 super boss, the Demon King Drangonia. So we're going to go over there, kick some ass. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for bringing the playthrough to a grinding halt, but this is going to be the last one. I promise, this will be the last one for sure. I didn't think I'd need to do so many side quests to get one side quest done, but here we are. Anyway, they got this big fucking blue dragon with a big red glowy face. Level 99. He's a big boy. All right. Let me get that material for that sword. Oh boy. Hope we can beat this guy. We should. I think we're strong enough. We're only three levels weaker than him. He's not exactly a super boss either. He's just really strong. Oh boy. We're on fire. Uh oh. What's he gonna do? Fatal Crunch? Oh boy. It's gonna kill me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm... There he goes. Oh, he killed Ricky. There we go. Alright. Let's armor up. Hopefully that'll help us a little bit. Air Crush 10, I believe. Or maybe it's Air Crush X. That's a cool name for an attack. Good boy, he's biting us. Burning Justice. Now we're on fire. He's almost halfway done. Uh oh. What's he gonna do? Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Hold just armor. I thought the armor would do something. It it won't. Damn. Why did it have the exclamation mark? But it wasn't gonna do shit. Oh well. Whatever. I think we could beat this guy. He's not that tough. Come on. We got this. Good boy. Well, I'll speed myself. Aha! Oh, no. oh, no. Too fast for you. I also have Monado speed maxed out, I think. I think that's the other Monado art I got maxed out all the way besides um, shield and armor. Oh boy. On. Oh boy, he does not stay toppled for long, huh? Get with it, Ricky. Almost dead. 
Got it. Cheer up, Melia. You almost got him. There we go. We beat him. All right. Now we got the last Monado part for that last Monado. And I had no room for those dragon crystals. I'm sure they would have come in handy. I see now that I've increased the population of Colony 6, I got more quests, but don't worry, I won't take them. I think I'm done with quests. I've been playing this game all day today, mostly for grinding and then for recording these episodes. Oh boy, I think I finally had my fill. Alright. Man, I'm losing my mind. I forgot what I was going to do. I was going to go to Reconstruction HQ. So I could just waltz on over to Junks. And, you know, get that new sword. The music here is so happy now. Guess because we're all happy that we've got a lively village. Alright, pretty lady. Make me a sword. I have finished. The Monado Dogma offers a high critical hit rate. The thin material is used to increase the blade output. The high critical hit rate comes at the cost of lower defense. I hope this weapon gives you the strength and power to succeed. Alright. That's all the swords. Okay. So, what I wanted to do next was the securing provisions. So now we're finally strong enough to fight those gorillas in Tefra Cave. So we go to Heavenly Window. There we go. Let me adjust my mic. Make sure it's in the front of my mouth. Hope you guys can hear me. All right. See if we can just grab this. We got a powerful gorilla in here, but we're strong enough to fight him finally. So he'll be no problem. Not like last time I tried to do this, in which it was a problem. Let's do a... Let's do a team attack. Eh, that did quite a bit. It's taunting us. Oh, toppled. Ah, he didn't stay toppled. Okay. Side attack. Go. There we go. All right. Let us hurry onwards. Need to get rid of some of these crystals. All right. So we got the key. Now we have to go to. Where do we go? Quest log. Collect the emergency rations from the trader's emergency warehouse in Tefra Cave. All right. Find out where that is. All the way over there, huh? Hopefully I can get over there, no problem. Ah, a door. There we go. Emergency rations. Go to the Bionis leg. I don't know, we'll... Go to the refugee camp, see where we go from there. So... Not too far.
I was right to skip travel over here. Hello. Brought the provisions. I knew you wouldn't let me down. The Hyenti are, aren't really cut out for this type of life. If we could fill some bellies, they might feel less desperate. I'm glad everything worked out. We did good job. Let's dance, dance, no pun dance. No pun dance, I wonder what that would go like. Or maybe not. Anyway, here's a little something to say thank you. Alright. Money and EXP. Alright, I'll take it. So, what next? Ah, yeah. This one. Fight the big spider. Alright. Heavenly window. Fight that big white spider. Try to get that treasure. See if we just run by these guys. Alright, fine. We'll fight. Shit, why not? Not a purge your ass. Anyway, not quite strong enough to just completely bypass these guys, but I think I'm strong enough now where grinding isn't really a thing I gotta worry about. I already did all that shit. I think I could just tiptoe past these guys. They, they only notice if you make a lot of noise, so... It's gotta be cool. Be cool. Aha, they don't notice me. That big boy over there will notice me, though. I, that, that much I do know. Level 97. All right. Come on, you big ugly thing. You scared me away last time, but you ain't scared me no more. All right. There we go. Today's the fucker. All right. The dazzling. Holo Snea. It's one hell of a name. All these boss enemies do, don't they? Binding web. Slowing Ricky down. Vision. What's he gonna do? Virgin Bite 7? Yeah, that's one hell of a name for an attack. Alright. There. We will protect our virginities from that bite, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Well, properly shielded. Sneak behind with backslash. There we go. Backslash probably one of the more powerful attacks in Shulk's move list. Buster also does a good bit of damage. Mechon or no. Uh oh. Ah, uh, don't bite Ricky. He's got kids. He's no virgin. Ricky, play dead. Ah, shielded just in time. Almost got him. Or is it a her? Could be like the mother spider to these spiders, I don't know. Alright, got the heart. And an affinity coin. 
Alright, Cross Impact and Banquet Fighter and... Here, we'll just get rid of one of these crystals. There we go. I should have been doing that with these powerful crystals. Damn. Oh well. Ah. Not more powerful than what Ricky's got already, so I will pass. Wait a minute. Okay, so these are all just two slot items. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway. Pin. Level up some more arts for Fiora. Got the points to spare. Speaking of upgrading. Let's see. Yeah, we'll upgrade Slit Edge. There we go. Alright. No one else can needs an upgrade, right? And that can upgrade? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Anyway, where to? Back to the tomb? Alright, sweet. Skip over there. There we go. Alright. We will make our offering. Hidden Passage. Oh, we gotta talk to her what first. The door has opened. I'm glad everything worked out, but I'm too afraid to go through it. Who knows what horrible things could be lurking in there? Let me think about this for a while. Alright. Well. Alright, we'll talk to her again. I've thought about it and I've decided that I want you to go in. Tell me what you find. Alright, well. I guess you don't give us much choice, lady. To the prayer room. Ooh. La dee da. We're gonna go pray. Oh, what's this? Examine. I can't read what it says. We should take a rubbing and have Shura decipher it. Alright, we got a rubbing. Where's this go? Ah, I see. I want to pick a flower. A white flower. It's beautiful. Got an ancient lily. Alright. Wonder if that'll come in handy. I don't know. What is it? You're saying all you saw was a single stone tablet? There must be something else of importance in there. Anyways, I should take a look at what was written on the tablet. Let me see that rubbing you took. I see. It's the path of absolution. The path walked when offering a sacrifice to the white spiders. It is lined by the memorial tablets of those offered up as the sacrifices. It's all written in this book. Enter the path of absolution and bring me back a tablet. It will serve as the key that opens the next door. Alright. What is it? So I guess that's up to us. Alright. Collect the sacrificial tablet from near the path of absolution in Tefra Cave. Alright. Where is that? Ah, right over there. Okay. So we shall run past these guys. Look, I'm just gonna whip ya. There's no point. Alright. No point in fighting these guys. We'll just run past them. Ah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Get away. Got tablets to collect. Oh yeah, I guess I've been through here already when I was... Well, not I guess. I know I've been through here while I was just exploring around and grinding and all that cool shit. Anyway. Uh... Where's the runes again? There we go. It's a tomb, not ruins. I guess it's the same thing, more or less, kinda sorta. Anyway, there you go, lady. I got what a cool it? shit. You brought back a tablet. 
Hey, is it just me who finds the tomb with no coffin a bit strange? There has to be one somewhere. Maybe the tablet is the key. Supposedly, with this tablet, I can open another door in this room. A door that will lead us to the giant soothsayer's resting place. I'm deciphering where the door is located. Please give me more time. Okay. What is it? I've got it. I know where the door is. Go to the level below. It's just left after these steps. You can use the tablet to open it. Go inside and look for any clues about the giants. Alright. If you say so. We have almost finished. I'm counting on you. Well, because you ask so nicely. And I'm doing side quests. Alright. Here? Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. Right here. The Soothsayer's Crypt. Moonlight Book. Alright. Back out of here. Alrighty. What is Got it? the thing. It's it's the Moonlight Book. I can't believe it. With this and the Starlight Book, I could solve the riddle of these ruins. I'm glad everything worked out. I'm, I'll go back to Colony 9 and study them. I'm shaking with excitement. Ah, of course, your reward. Oh, silly me. I don't have it on me. Can I give it to you later on? I live in the commercial district. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Alright. Colony 9 we go. Gratitude of Balfagar. Alright. Commercial district. There we go. I'll just go here. Hope I can find where she is so I don't have to waste more time. Oh, she's right there. Cool. What is it? Oh, goodness. I'm glad to see you. Thanks ever so much for the other day. I assume you're here to collect your reward from Balfagar Tomb? Oh, before that, let me tell you something exciting. Thanks to those two books, I've learned so much about the giants. Turns out the giant's fate was linked to the white spiders. The giant in the coffin was, in fact, the giant soothsayer. The soothsayer subjugated the white spiders, but when the soothsayers died, the white spiders were freed. That's when they started to amass power. So the giants offered sacrifices in order to avoid a war. But the giants' numbers grew ever smaller. Soon the oppressors had clearly become the oppressed. They were unable to fight back against the white spiders. They were forced to live in a meager existence behind closed doors. I'm glad everything worked out. All done. Well done, us. Oh, don't worry. I didn't forget about your reward. Here's a giant's treasure that's been passed down by in my family. I've always wanted to research and find out more about it, but after reading these books, I now know there are three of them. One is meaningless on its own, but I know you could find the others, which I already have. I shall leave it in your capable hands. Alright. Truth of the Giants. Cool. And there's the giant's treasures. Alright. So. Final Giant's Runes. Go to the Giant's Runes at the Three Sage Summit on Valak Mountain. Alright. Valak Mountain. Three Sage Summit. Gonna open up the door. Do I have to fight these guys? Can I just walk on by? No final Marcus kicked our asses last time. Alright, fuck it. We'll kick some asses. Why not? One at a time. Oh boy. I haven't saved in a bit. Ah oh shit, he noticed us. Thrust. Oh god. He's gonna thrust us. Alright. The Nato Eater. Uh oh. Light of Demise, oh shit. To at least keep Melly alive, I think he's aiming for Ricky though. Let's purge him. There we go. Should make things a bit easier on us.
There we go. Glad Ricky joined some AP. Oh god, revive me. Thank you, Ricky. Thanks for not leaving me hanging this time. I didn't forget what you did in Satoru Marsh. Alright. Oh boy. He does not stay toppled for long. I know I've made these observations before. I'm just making them again. Purge. There we go. We're doing some damage. We just gotta... Just gotta survive. Won't bother with the team attack. That didn't work out for us last time, I don't think. Mountain Impact 9. Holy shit. Ricky's gonna wreck ya. So we will do shield. There we go. That'll work. Purge. There we go. Don't worry, Malia. Oh god, Ricky, no. Get up, my friend. Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? Oh, man. That's alright. Shield. Aha! Oh, wow. That, that did a lot. Okay. Oh god, Ricky. Survive this. Alright, that won't kill him, but... Won't mean shit if he, uh... Store some health. Alright. Oh damn, I warned Ricky, so now, uh... Can't revive Melia. You gotta make this last. Alright. Purge. Oh man. Oh boy, this guy is tough. There we go. All right. Take the crystal, get rid of something weaker. All right. Hell yeah. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Wait. All right, Dunban. Let's upgrade that electric gut buster. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, cool. Got some equipment, I believe. Lori armor. Hmm. Maybe. Sure. I'll give that to her. Alright. Now we can open this door. Hopefully Ugly over there will leave us alone. What's in the door? Alright. Got some gems for our trouble. Cool. Gold and EXP. I'll take them. Hey, you can't just decide to fight us now. Oh, was this just an ambush? Okay, I, I see. I think I know what's going on. Clever, clever. Trying to ambush us when we were on the threshold of greatness. 
What an asshole. Alright. Well, I'll kick your ass. Alright. Ricky, you're confused, my friend. Playing beam. All right, almost got him. Told that fucker to fuck off. That's what I'm talking about. But we cannot be reckless. All right. Give me the good stuff. Ah, Titan Plate and the Titan Greaves and the Artie Drones and the Final Cut. All right. So. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, so I already had a Titan Plate. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Oh, she's got new swords. That's not that good, though. Okay. Yeah, he could have that. Okay, cool. Alright. So I guess I saw the giant's treasures, and, uh... Yeah, that's all the side quests I'm gonna do. Okay. So next time, guys... We will go to... Ooh, wrong prison island. We're gonna go to prison island and finish up this game. What do you say? I think it's about time I did so. Alright. Alright. I saw fast travel over there, so I have no excuses. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna save. Alright, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your patience with me meandering around for these last few episodes. But we're gonna move forward. Uh, enough's enough. We need to put a bow on this and end it. So, thank you guys for watching. If you would, leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. And share this video around, because that would help me out a lot. Um, I know you guys really like the Xenoblade episodes, and we're about to bring the main game to the end. We're going to also do the uh, the ep playable epilogue sometime down the line. Um, I won't make you wait too long for that, though. But it won't be immediately afterward. But anyway, I'm JT Gunner, and this is Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And I hope you guys have a good night, so I'll see you later.